I'm sure, the, but uh, um, I did get word from Cadis that we're going live in about 70 seconds now, I guess. Extremely well, uh, requesting that I do the entire cast in a British accent. I don't think I want to subject anyone, especially myself, to that, unfortunately. Oh, uh, jolly good show, old chap. But, um... Uh, I guess we could start with a little intro so we don't miss any of that, uh... Metal action we do see as well. Crouton says, according to Crass, Bite is making up rules. And that wouldn't surprise me at all, but... I hope Kiris' information is accurate, because I am going to say hello and welcome to Vanilla TV. We are here for the ETF2L Season 12, powered by TT Esports Premier Division Playoffs. This is the first playoff fixture, TCM Gaming against Punchline, but we are on the third map with TCM having taken the first on a golden cap 4-3 and Punchline winning the second there in the normal time 4-3 on Snakewater. And this is Gullywash. We will be going live shortly. And I am hoping to see snipers in the middle. We do see Tech and Zebu still running Sniper on the warm-up. DJC, do you think it's going to happen? Sniper versus Sniper. At the uh, end of that map, Flippy was pretty much playing Perma Sniper. I did just hear the Ready Up Go, and we see the Good Luck Have Fun's coming out. So we will be live here on Gullywa. Interested to see these rollouts at the start. Watching for those snipers as we get lagged in-game. No sniper right now. Standard lineups for both sides. I'm interested to see how quickly Zebesai gets aggressive here. Uh, it's really going to determine how well TCM's mid goes. Zebesai walks under the right. Looks like he's going to try and make a long con here. He's going through the drop down, in fact. But Rebelli will go down in the meantime, and Punchline do spot the drop down play. Tech will go down trying to bomb onto Bite. The guy on the flank coming up the back stairs right now. It's Hemzy straight on to K3. Zebesai will take down Flippy as well. Flynn goes down to K3, not in the best position right now. Gets taken down by the pistol from Himsey sitting above that closet. And apparently Punchline's, Punchline's pre-game mind games did not pay off. Cadis, in fact, already in a lower lobby here. Wants to deny anyone from getting out. Tech spots it, though. We'll try and get through the attic here. Wants to make a force on the bite right now. Yeah, it was essentially a mirror matchup there on middles with Scouts and Demo rolling out effectively the same and just playing standoffish on middle. But the bomb soldier... From Punchline was uh, pretty much totally alone because Rebelli was challenging and keeping back all those Punchline players. And they really lost a lot of their spam damage there, a lot of the, the sort of uh, presence on the point. And once Hemsy came in, they were just totally separated from their medic and divided. And we do see the Uber pop super early from TCM here. That sentry under, the, yeah, sentry under there gets taken down by Cadis. The NG is still up and it looks like the TCM Uber was popped so early they might not be able to do much with this. Cadis does take down Plop Plop. Rebellion Zebesai will go down, though that should halt all aggression as that is three down for TCM. And Cadis will go down as well to Flippy, the big engineer shotgun. Punchline wants to push over this, they're moving out lower lobby right now. No Cadis, no demo man for TCM. TCM are backed up to choke. Flynn is getting a little aggressive here with the stickies. There's Rebellion a scout in the lower lobby. As well. Himsy goes down trying to just run straight for the back cap, but that Rebellion sniper could come at a huge effect here. He's about to peek on choke. But nobody's really looking at him. He peeks around right as the Uber comes in. Popping on the sniper. Perhaps not the best play, but they didn't want to risk any chances. Flynn really aggressive on the choke. Gets great spam onto four members of TCM. But TCM are at 90%. They'll be able to refresh Zebo's on the drop down. Zebo's on the drop down. He picks up Captain Hacks, but he's been called. Plopla goes end. down as well. There's just an NG trying to cap. Oh, will air go down. Shot onto Zebo. That was Big sick. air shot by the French MGE Master. And Flippy's just running away from middle as the engineer. A play you rarely see. He did have time to get a level 1 sentry up on point, and Hibsy's gonna get taken down by it, I believe. Oh no, makes some nice strafing there on 13 health. Uh, the Uber is up for TCM, 70% for Punchline. They have enough time to get this if they kite this long enough, but Cadis knows. Cadis is pushing in right away. Gets some decent damage onto K3, but he's still got about 100 health. 90%, they need to delay this. There's a Pyro alive, but they're all on point, and the spam just hits everyone at once, and Punchline will wipe with TCM taking the first round. Six players alive. Yeah, impressive push there. Just brute forcing their way and doing massive damage. And we're going to see another middle here with no snipers. Both scouts for each side. It'll be interesting to see who the aggressor is first here. It was a soldier of Punchline who led the charge on his own for the last one. But Cadis gets a nice sticky onto Plapla. Reads that jump on to the flanks there. And look at Captain Hacks coming in almost undetected. Gets a rocket onto Cadis, but... He's already taking down Tech with the follow-up, gets behind onto the med pack, classic med pack still there, driving a wedge between, oh my god, Tech and Flynn link it up to destroy TCM, 
But meanwhile, Zebo Sai is taking out K3, I think, and it's only Pla Pla versus Zebo on Metal Zebo, 42 HP. Pla Pla has no idea where he is either. He eats the rocket, discovers him, and it's Zebo Sai versus Scout. Pla Pla is content to eat these rockets. He does get the cap, but he eats another rocket and is taken down. We do see Flippy spawning on Sniper, though. And it looks like Punchline want to hold this middle now that they have earned it. Flippy peeking through the choke, but there's both scouts aggressive for TCM here, but they take a ton of damage, have to back up instantly. And Byte is in no oh. man's land, there's a soldier on top of him, he takes good damage! He is not down yet, Byte somehow staying alive here, and K3 goes down in the meantime. Soldier into the enemy choke, Tech will take down Byte, following it up with the cleanup kill. There is Tech Plopla. gets another. He gets another onto Himsy as well, wow. Plopla, Tech, and Flynn, the only ones alive at the moment. Cadis and Hawks putting up a stalwart defense. Despite the fact that they have about 110 health combined, Flynn is perhaps even overextended here because he has no idea this soldier is here. He's alone in the yard, but the Scott support is coming. Cadis will go down, and Plopla -Pla will clean up Hawk. That will be a nice little bit of cap time here for Plopla, -Pla, but there's a scout lower. If Flynn is about to get healed up and come back in. The scout is coming in lower. Flippy pushing in right now. Second scout is as well. Hemsy comes in to back up Rebelli, but he gets Ooh, destroyed Flynn by Flynn Sticky. In. He picks up the second scout as well. K3 comes back to heal up his scouts. I thought they were going to push straight in there. But it is uh, a slight uber advantage for Punchline, but they're just going to push straight in here and try and get frags. They've got Soldier on the point. Flynn and Captain Hacks down. That goes TCM's way instantly. The Soldier got really aggressive and Cadis had a nice sticky trap up. And you know, this is totally fine, DGC. They just tried to trade players there, but they're going to be up in time to defend. They're going to have that uber charge as well. They will be able to block if TCM even dream of pushing out here. Cadis TCM is are pushing out, door. in fact. I don't really know why they start the cap time. There's a scout up top. The Ubers are even. This is an easy contest for Punchline, but Flippy and Plopla go down. If Punchline want to contest now, they're going to have to get some oh, huge that picks. Oh, Soldier gets dropped, and K3 is running. Tech got juggled so high, he couldn't be saved. Kadis finished him off, but the scouts were already scattering him from the sky. And right now, Punchline are in a dangerous position. They need to back off before they get strong-armed here. There's a lot of damage all around this corner for TCM, and a scout is now in on the flanks. Hemsy comes in, but backs off through Big Door yet again. Zebasai from the drop down gets well read by Captain Hacks there. Hemsy comes in on our back stairs, though, and TCM are looking strong now. Ooh, oh, Hemsy gets headshot by Flippy, and Plopla's under the medic! Bite goes down! Four people around Bite, and Plopla somehow gets the shots through. Takes him down. Hawks will get body shot as well, and Cadis is down. A lot of the holding power is down for TCM. There's Zebasai and Rebelli alive. Rebelli's trying to get a little clever sitting on that grassy knoll right there, but Flippy spots it. Even gets a body shot off and Rebelli is forced to retreat as I hear the baby voice praying for a medic. Rebelli apparently <laughs> just wants his mother right now. There is a soldier up top, Zebesai with the demo. Himsy will take down Flynn, but Flippy is in great position, takes down Zebesai. Will severely Scott, hurt Rebelli coming really up from the tanky street onto Flippy, they're really trying to take him out. He yeah, they is know the Flippy's such a right threat on. here. Flippy's in great position to headshot anyone. He can deny anyone from getting into the point. Cadis does have the front door stuck right now. Some clever ones in the pillar on the side as well. And they are spotted. Unfortunately, he had the timing right for the blind step. A punchline playing that very defensively just to make sure there's an engineer on Zebesai. And a heavy for Rebellion. Flippy will go down instantly. Nice play there by him. Knows what a big threat oh. that is. And the soldier is dropped by K3. The heavy will go down. But that sentry that I still haven't even spotted did a lot of work there, and that will be pretty much a full wipe. As Flynn died early, he gets a nice kill on Nahimzi, he's going to hold these doors. But if TCM get aggressive here, Flynn is a bit out of position, and we have a pause. Uh, K3 seems to be dropping a lot of people in his push. He's obviously got unlucky with that big blast up of tech on the, the previous push onto 4, but maybe just got knocked back a little bit there. Dropped two players against that heavy. It is tough to be running in his face without overcharge DJC. And uh, yeah. maybe this um, pause will help Punchline out as they try and uh, regroup here. They're going to probably... Oh, I can't even tell what the respawn timers are because it's still running through the pause. Thanks, Valve. But uh, uh, While well, we are briefly on pause, that means the player is reconnected, so we'll be live in a few short seconds here. In the meantime, we can watch Zebesai and Cadis levitate right outside that front door. Zebesai, yeah. in fact, getting really aggressive into the choke, but Flynn is backed out already. Bite is healing up Zebesai on the point. Cadis is holding up the uh, flank side here. Punchline not going to contest this. Flippy is up on Sniper. He's posted up on the flank right now. He's going to peek on this point. Gets a shot on the soldier, but it's not a headshot. Scott tries to rush him. The Uber is popped on flank here by TCM. Perhaps way earlier than they had wanted to. Flippy is still just sitting in that choke. But a demo is getting, a scout is getting aggressive, excuse me, onto him. Rebelli runs through the choke. 
Nice machete swipe on him, and a back cap is actually started here by Punchline. A three times back cap, a scout, and a soldier. They're gonna have to race here. TCM are coming back to contest this. Nice air shot there. That soldier is very weak. Bike goes down. Oh, Punchline trying to push to last here. Tech with some huge plays right there. He will go down. Flynn and K3 alive versus the two health Zebasai who's beating it back to last. Flynn with a big pan kill there. Got a shout out to those melee skills. And uh, it looks like there could be a little bit of a standoff briefly as both teams try and get players back in the mix. But obviously a big uber advantage here for K3. Sitting on 170. You see a spy out from Zebo. Oh, I've got him on first person right now. I want to see exactly what happens. He's going up top, but it looks like he's giving the old run around. A stray rocket seals past him there. But he is working his way down into lock, spawn. But Punchliner are already so deep, he might not be able to do anything. He gets plop plop, but Punchliner in last doing huge work. Rebellion bite down. TCM trying to get back to this, but Cadis will go down to some nice positioning there from Tech. He was on top of the rim. Got some two directs onto Cadis and then took down Hawks as well. That was a good round from Punchline to draw it even here, and we are about to take over another middle. Yeah, Zebusai taking the scenic group with that spy, but really, his team was up against it. Can't put all the weight on his shoulders there, DDC. And we do see no snipers yet again. Let me reload my hand make sure. Yes, we are back on middle. It's scouts versus scouts. And a slightly aggressive play from TCM. He just remaining on the floor. So, or Punchline, I mean, it's... Uh, Flynn spams those stickies up from the ground, not opting to push up that left side, and TCM taking a lot of damage and suffering quite a few casualties there, DGC. Yep, Tech got really aggressive into the flank there at the end of the fight to try and get that pick on Zebusai. He went down, but Plopla was able to finish off with the pistol. TCM trying to rotate top here. They want to put up some semblance of a defense, but Punchline have initiated the cap. They have a scout going for it right now. TCM look like they want to pop their Uber on this. They pop it a bit early, but K3 with the instant reaction pop. Flippy will go down, do some stickies behind, the back cap is started. TCM will have to block this, it looks like. Actually, Himzy will go down on middle to tech. And Punchline will take this, Zebusai is on the point right now, gets taken down by Plop Plop. Craters himself, it's just Cadis up right now, the spawns are a ways away. Cadis on 130 life, the scout is on him, Cadis is so weak right now, taken down. Hawks will spawn, it's just Hawks right now, Punchline need to get aggressive on this point. Drawing Hawks to the point, he will be taken down, TCM have spawns, but they are nowhere near close enough. And that will be a second round of punchline. It's the magic of the pause, DJC. That little breather there has uh, definitely got the momentum going. Although they did cap the first round before the pause came in, I guess. So I'm just talking shit, DJC. But we're going to middle here anyway. And still no snipers. It's going to be scouts on scouts again. Will punchline up to play from the floor again? Flynn is just spamming stickies up as soldiers jump in. Tech seals in and air strafes. Oh my god, a Euro air strafes. And Captain Hacks comes in with the oh second time god. bomb, and oh my god, they are just cleaning up DJC! Tech's aggression was the catalyst for greatness there, they did so much work off of that jump, wiping TCM. But it didn't help that Cadis went down so early into that fight. Uh, Punchliner already on second here, looks like they're gonna try and push through lower with their uber advantage. Rebelli does what we all have come to expect from him, he comes up on a heavy. TCM do get their spawns, they're gonna need to get overhealed right now and try to defend this off of heals alone. Bite looks like the heavy sitting in that lower one. Pyro as well, Zebo and Pyro are gonna try and deny that Riverside push too, DDC. Yeah, I don't think Punchline are even gonna try the Riverside push right now, looks like they wanna come through the mid-level. Stickies are dead by Cadis, the Uber is pop. Deep aggression here by the Soldier, they need to pressure point right now, nobody's even near the point. The soldier is on it, he gets taken down by that heavy, they didn't spot the heavy until so late and it hurt them badly. But Cadis and Bite will go down, it's two versus two here, Plop Plop the only one alive for Punchline. He's fighting Hawks on 100 health versus 55 for Plop Plop. Eats a splash rocket, he's so low, they're both so weak right now. Oh. Hawks with a shotgun cleanup. As we've seen so far this game, Plop Plop does not do so well with dodging the rockets in 1v1 situations. That's the second <laughs> time he's been in that and he's now eaten about five rockets. But Flippy does come up on Sniper. The scout is getting aggressive on the point. That is Rebelli, I believe. But we do see the Spy play from Mizzy as well. They're all distracted right now. If is in any kind of position to get a stab, he is unfortunately not. How have they not killed Rebelli? How did it take that long? But he does go down. Zebusai is now upper. He's going to drop down. Oh, Zebusai. This is where heroes are made, Admirable. I'm going to theory graft a little bit while Zebusai tries to make a pick here. Whoops. He gets spotted, though. But, like, we talked about the last map, about how uh, Punchline were not... Or committing too many players to the point in a situation where they needed to get frags, but the thing about Gollywash is that that point is so easy to defend once you're on it, like, there's no real 
height advantage or good spam spots, it's sort of hard to deny it from spawn. So if they had just made that play for the point there, they probably would have cut. Uber popped from punchline. I think Himsey got in behind or something and forced them. They're not even going to be able to do much of anything with this. TCM didn't even have it to be forced. TCM are trying to push out here. Oh, the force does come. Captain Hack stays forward to make sure it happens. Cadis takes on tech in the attic area, though. That's three down for Punchline. Flippy comes back up on Scout. There will be about a 20% uber advantage for Punchline. Flippy is hiding, trying to get a little clever on that little tanker over beside the point. And if he is about to get spotted, the soldier peeks around the corner. It's a nice direct on him. That was Hawk spotting him. Himsy cleans him up. Punchline do still have a slight uber advantage. The number has gone down a little bit as they've built inefficiently. But they have five up. They can hold middle here. TCM now getting aggressive. Is that a side on the K3? K3 goes into the Valley of Death. Somehow still surviving, but nobody's getting healed right now. The scout Himsey is on K3 at flank. K3 will go down, but Hawks Kate is down as well. Bite on 60 health in lobby right now. It's just Rebelli pushing forward. I know that Demo Man Flynn goes down. Himsey's still in middle, but he's kind of trapped there. He's on 50 health as well. Flippy wants to clean him up. He will go down. It's Bite and Rebelli right now near the choke, and Zebesai coming in late. Rebelli goes down. Bite is stranded. He has Zebesai with him. Air oh! shot! Big shot by Tech. Flippy will go down, but Zebesai gives his life to save Bite there. Tech cannot win the shotgun battle against Hawks. Hawks on 85 health. Very nice play from Zebesai to come in there and keep his medic alive. TCM losing so many players though, just one after another, showing no respect to Punchline and paying the price. Those trades are good for Punchline because it just means that TCM can't push off that Uber and allows them to get back in the game and they should be able to get the force off here but oh, they don't have anyone close to choke so Bite might be able to hold it but we know those Euro medics love to pop at the drop of a hat and Bite does pop! Obviously that sniper a threat and the Uber comes in and they're going to have to try and chase here but Poundstein are prepared Stop for onto the demo, it's just him and he takes down Flynn! He was Ubered for so much of that time they couldn't get any damage on him there's a soldier there as well. They still haven't killed Himsy. What is going on? Cadis in as well. Cadis with a huge sticky on the plot plot will take him down. But Cadis is also pretty deep in here. Captain Hacks will go down. Flippy body shots Cadis, but eats the roller to die. The counter Uber finally popped from punchline. Zed gets a nice air shot. Zed was in the lobby. He's oh wow, he's on oh, K3, wow. but he manages to get spotted by Flynn right at the last minute. K3 didn't have a clue he was there. Anaya is demo medic against Soldier Scout medic. Rebellion more up top right now, it looked like he wanted to go last, but he backs it up. Yeah, Shall I get their sentry going on that top side this time, opting to go with this rather than the under. Looks like that's just going to be their only off class here, they have 50%, Bite has it right now. Looking for TCM's positioning, they're in the mid level right now, Bite doesn't want to peek anywhere. Considering how many times he's been forced and picked. This might be the old bait and switch, he's going to show them a sentry there and then switch it. No, actually he does leave it because their push is totally in the wrong direction. The stickies do come in, but that's a lot of damage wasted right now and the Uber's about to fade. They are getting the frags though and that is all important. There are players here to deny oh, the point. Uber Uber saw saw gets it, but misses the drop. switch in time. There was just a soldier on point at the end there, six down for punchline. There was a scout sitting under, I believe it was Plapla, who came up and delayed that long enough for K3 to get that swipe off, but he just couldn't pop it in time. I'm pretty sure he had it. And that is two uber drops according to Alex in the STV chat now, so that's not the uh, best for K3 after the... I wouldn't count that one as an uber drop, you know, that was an almost clutch play. Almost, we do, yeah. We do see the scouts of Punchline quite aggressive here, straight onto the point, getting that cap timer running down. Flippy gets chased out by Rebelli though, and Tech has managed to pick up Zebosai, his opposite number, on the roaming flanks there. And Health Tom is really bad on TCM right now, Bite finally gets over to his team. But Punchline had a window to abuse that low health and did not take it. It's now 3v4. The scout is getting aggressive into choke. Wants to deny Punchline a contest opportunity. Cadis is back on their flank. It's actually Bite, Cadis, and Hawks sitting inside the Punchline flank right now. They'd love to get aggressive here, but they're playing so far back. They know the spawns are coming and that if they pushed into them now, they would just get cut off. Punchline looks like they want to rotate up top here and defend from there. They know that flank play is so... Worrying right now, looks like they're actually just going to peek out lobby and just deny them the flank. Yeah, it was a good play from TCM, a classic example of how to show strength even when you're weak. Hemsy sacrificing himself to allow Bite to heal up, and we do see the Ubers popped here on the flanks at a big door. And it's multi-Ubers for both sides. Cadis is totally denied here, but there is action going on in the lobby. It's Zebo and Rebelli. Rebelli goes down to the double scatter, going to plat plat and flippy Finn finishes off the Swede. And they're going to push ahead here, pushing on both sides' flanks. Scout's coming in on that big door flank, and meanwhile there's a battle going on here between Captain Hacks and Bite Rocket Launcher. Wins over Ubersaw any day in my book. 
And right now it looks like Pound Sign are just going to regroup and collect themselves before they cap this point. Only Rebelli remains and he is running. Scout, we do see Zebo switching up the sniper. He's got that spawn. Is he hiding in it? I'm trying to find him. He's up top. He's on the balcony. He's in position. He's got a delightful hat there with a spinning TF2 logo. And uh, he fires off one shot, misses. But there is a flank on here. It's K3 in trouble. He needs Flynn that is med so pack. aggressive up top right now. He takes down Zebosai, but it gives his life where Kate is now in a position to spam the point. Kate hits a long range pipe on a flippy that takes him down. It's 3v4 right now. Punch up with the numbers advantage. Soldier jumps, but gets piped away. Even two pipes there from Cadis, the big DM of the best or second best English oh, demo man in the game. Oh, he's a direct rocket in oh the air! Oh my god, big shots there from Captain X will take down Bite. The stickies are on point though from Cadis, rather clever trap will take Captain Hax down. The number advantage is in Punchline's favor, but their numbers are not really in position right now. They finally do get there, the scout and the soldier. Himsey is wants to go up in the attic where Zebesai is right now. Zebesai is actually beating it back to last. TCM need to get their spawns, need to get their heals up. They're only about 25 to 30% behind on Uber right now. They could kite this if they get some off classes here. I'm surprised Rebelli's not on heavy, and just as I think the thought, it's almost like Rebelli's reading my mind 90 <laughs> seconds in the past and goes heavy. <laughs> That's just what goes through his head all the time, DJC. Yeah, pretty much. He spends more time on heavy than he is scout these days, I think. But that will be their only off class, and the Uber is about 35% indeed. Uh, looks like Punchline are going to want to push from this mid-level again. They did this the first time and it nearly worked. There were just some drop. Zebesna is in a good position. Now we get some good damage out of this soldier. T uh, Captain Axe will go down instantly. Cap is started by Punchline, though. Demo is below. Nobody knew that Cadis was underneath the point. It comes in and he's doing huge damage. Tech will take him now, but K3 goes down. Where's Tech right now? He gets taken down by Hawks. Flippy is waiting. He wants this back cap so badly, but Himsey is there to spot him. Take him down. That was an interesting push attempt there from Poundside Uber and two scouts in and going straight for the point. And I feel if Flynn had managed to stay alive, they were in a great spot there, drawing all those TCM players down low. With only really uh, scouts and the medic on there, had those big splash damage classes ready to deal damage, but they were already down on the flanks. And Cadis underneath, that was just uh, to add insult to injury there of a failed Poundside push. And uh, Uber comes in from Big Door here, there's no sniper, they just... Oh, there is a sniper actually, but I didn't hear the shot, and they're in already. Fli oh, Flippy's close to the choke there. Draws Rebelli into the arms of his waiting soldiers there. He take him out, and Bite is in a dangerous Bite spot. He's getting SMG'd. We get taken down by Plopla. Zebesai will go down as well, and Hawks as well. Just some nice play from Plopla, and Flippy. Tech will go down, trade with Himsey. Looks like K3 is safe in the choke. He's pretty low health. So I'm assuming Himsey was back in yard on him. Flippy's now really aggressive here. Starting the cap from lower, he's the only one there at the on moment. Sniper Zebu on NG TCM turtling up here, trying to buy as much time as possible, but it's a big Uber advantage here, 60% at least for the Frenchies, and they will be moving in momentarily. And I down wonder to nine minutes left, Admiral. We just wanted to point that out. What are they going to do here? The, I feel like the scout thing could have worked if they hadn't lost those players in the flanks, but they're going to use the soldier in a really early Uber here. Oh, they lost at least a second of that. They are going to take goes that down quickly. Down, Oh, the big headshot by Flippy on the hawk. The heavy is up on the left and he needs to get the point right now. There's the soldier on. The heavy drops on the point and Captain Hax goes down. The Uber is about to come up for bite about six seconds away now. Punchline not trying to repush here. The headshot does come out on a Rebelli. Rebelli is still sitting underneath. I wish that Punchline would have just repushed here. Flippy is trying to get some headshots out of this heavy. The heavy's on 200 health right now. Flippy forced to back up and I can hear the medic in his baby voice. And I'm getting reminded of you, Admiral. Sorry so much for cutting you off, but so much happening, man. Uh, man, I have nothing to say. I am just uh, sitting on the edge of my seat. I wonder what's going to happen. Tech just walks in. He might get a bite here. He needs one. Oh, a shotgun would have finished him off. Bite on 90 HP, but couldn't get that last tag. Just sort of wandering Plopla. through a sea of soldiers there. Plopla ran into last as well and got another 50 under bite. Bite with the patented crouch and standstill dog. That Dunk has made famous. Uh, the Uber is popped. <laughs> Bite gets launched away. Nobody Ubered right now. Kadish jumps. And a rather clever play as Kadish jumps to get flashed in midair. Flynn is in a bit of a bad position, but Kadish has nothing loaded to shoot at it. As Zebesai did go down to Captain Hax there. 75% Uber for Punchline. This means that their repush will come fast and furious. But Himsey is sitting above that choke right now. Who needs the quick fix, man? You know, check out that sick jumps right there. Oh, there's a soda on the flank, though. Tex gets spotted instantly. 
Hawk's feeling them out with the rocket there, but Bite is in such a bad position right now. He's going to try and make his way back to the door, but he's already being denied by Flint. flanking, pinching him off. They're taking so long to kill Bite, though. They need to kill other people. No frags coming in. This Bite does go down. But it gave the TCM enough time to get into position, which enabled K3, Captain X, and Flippy, and now Plopla to die. It's about 130 health total for the TCM boys here, but Tech is in no position to help Flint with this fight, really. He does take down Hawks on 15 health. Somehow, Kadish trying to get a sticky onto him. Has no idea where he is. Oh, the debt ever so slightly misses. Cadus gets him down. And now the scout is there. Himsy pushing choke, but he's only 30 health. Flynn just has no support to push back in. Missed opportunity there. Cadus, the master of deception, just uh, fading into the shadows around the tanker there. And uh, again, punchline back on middle. Still 2-2 here, DDC. Less than seven minutes remain. And Vite actually comes in without Ubering, that's because he doesn't have it, and they might actually have a chance on this point, already getting time on that point, but Flippy beasts Himsy, I've seen that happen so many times, Himsy just still fancies his chances, Kadis is going to dive in here and try and pick that medic, but he Ooh. gets plugged out of there, Flippy going huge on this middle defense, DJC. Yeah, and Bite only on 20 health, gets the little health pack on too, he's running away upper right now, punchline taking a little too long to get in to take advantage of that, so I will go down trying to make a play here, K3 on 90 health, about six minutes left to go in the game. Punchline trying to take control of second point here. TCM are all bunched up on top. The Ubers are pretty much even. Punchline will not be able to take advantage of their small advantage. TCM moving back to last. Interesting to see if Zebesite comes up on anything besides Soldier. He does come up on Engineer. They want to get a full wipe of Punchline here to push back to second, which has worked several times so far. Punchline have not been good at dealing with the Sentry in conjunction with the Uber. They pop very early. Haven't gotten the force off yet, though. There it comes. Hawks get saved. Cadis rotates into spawn. The sentry goes down as Zebesite switches classes. Rebelli is down, but Captain Hax is the price that they pay to get Rebelli down. Hawks, in fact, takes down Tech as well, and K3 and Flynn are just running away into Yard right now. Yeah, I wonder at the punch line. Back cap! Again! Oh my god! Yeah, double back cap, just like we saw on Snake Water. They won a round with that, and they take another here. I assume they just went through water, and nobody watched it, and by the time anyone could get there, it was far too late. Oh my, oh my, missed that one DDC, but... I caught it at the last second, I saw them in water and just screamed scouts as if that was the only thing my head could process. We do see Punchline going valley here, but Cadis is taking an aggressive hold on point, he has to drop into the valley. There's a soldier getting onto him, Tech is actually about to jump through the drop down for TCM, could be a huge flank here. He's on the bite, bite is so weak! A nice needle kill on the other end, onto her belly by K3, Himsy goes down as well. Tech is down, and that's a nice 5 down for Punchline. It's just K3 alive. He's back at last already. They're going to be able to get their Uber to defend last. Yeah, Punchline may be becoming a little bit predictable in middle. They played from the floor the last few rounds. And TCM just sent three players in their face and smashed them there on the big door. Couldn't get anything done on the flanks. And good job from K3 to whip out those needles just in time. No crossbow for him, bro. He knows the needles are the best. And he is... Up in time, passes Uber up in time, and they're going to see another defense here. Super early Uber from Bite has to for those stickies. Uh, multiple flashes here from K3. They're not really going to be able to push out with this, but they are going to be able to hold, and that's all they need to do. But Pla Pla has gone down. There's a scout on point. Rebelli, I believe. No, it's Himsy. Excuse me. Himsy gets taken out. And Zebesai goes down as well. But Flippy and Tekkerdad punchline have wiped, and TCA will tie it up. There's three minutes and 40 seconds left in the game, Admirable. This is getting very, very intense here. Very sort of textbook stuff there from TCM going in, forcing that Uber and getting out. But they got that pick on the flank and they sort of drew the players away from the point there. And I know, uh, just a, a well executed push to be honest, DTC. I know right now that Cadis has somewhere to be. He does not want to be playing this map. I feel like he's going to go beast mode to finish this off. Punchline taking the upper here though. They have great control of the point. TCM are all bunched up in their choke. Cadis is the only one aggressive and he kills Flippy. Nice stickies there. K3 down as well on the huge bomb from Zebesai. There's only two alive for Punchline right now, Flint and Plapla. They're trying to get something on to Bite here. Bite stays alive at 50 health, and that's a wipe for Punchline. Looks like TCM are just turning it on. Maybe Bite gave them a rising pep top after that back cap, but the real momentum here, and they are pushing ahead on to CP4 already. We don't see a sniper yet. Actually, Flippy Run and Pyro, they're just going to turtle on last, trying to get that Uber up. They I would... think that Punchline need to do more than the Pyro here. The Pyro is nice, but... They're just sitting four people in that top left area and they're all eating the same spam and TCM are doing a surprisingly good job of dealing with that pyro. I feel like they need a sentry or a heavy or something else to take attention away. Flippy is in a little clever position here. He's going to drop down 
And denying the Uber from Uber Uber here. Comp. He baits him right to one three. Oh, what Zemus is Zemus taking down the Uber's pop. Flippy with a great pyro play. He's reflecting the combo. The Uber is pretty much gone already, and they do get nothing done with it besides that Flippy kill. The scout is in, but he will be taken down. Punchline now on 90%. There's some stickies on Riverside. They get dead here. Looks like Rebelli was underneath the point. Cadius is actually underneath right now. He's sticking himself off, trying to get his escape. Scout onto the point here. Cadius and Himsey go down. The Uber is popped from Punchline. That will swing about a 35% advantage here. Actually, about a 30%. But Bite is in healing, and he wants... And what Flynn you, will take that off. What do you do in this situation, man? What do you want to do? Do you want to push? Or do you want to hold for two minutes? Oh, I have no idea, James. If this were me, I'd be calling and begging for the push right now, which is what Punchline are doing there. Taking second with authority. 30% advantage here for TCM, but TCM are going to opt to hold this. They have the heavy up on Shoke right now. There are only about um, 90 seconds left in this game, and the Uber advantages are so narrow for European teams that I don't think they're even going to attempt <laughs> to push up with it. Oh, wow. I love that, DGC. And this heavy is going to slow things down. A little backhanded compliment, yeah. And they do pop Uber actually trying to push yard here. TCM want this to end now, but Zebesai will go down. The Uber does not get anything accomplished. Punchline will be able to turtle their last... Uh, are they going to put anything strange up here? Looks like they're going to go with their two scout, two soldier lineup. TCM need to get aggressive here. There's only a minute left. They're the only ones who have a real chance to win this round. There is a soldier trying to sneak in Riverside right now. That would be Hawk. Big bomb coming from Hawks here. He gets direct rocket onto the demo, but not enough damage onto the medic. Oh, the scout is coming in. a spy as well. It looks like TCM are happy to go for the uh, golden cap here, but they are going to try and make a play with this spy from Zebo. Coming in on main right now, DGC, he's walking directly into the sneaky spot with that heavy minigun spin and they mightn't be able to hear him on cloak. And no one's really looking around for him right now, Zebu might be able to make a play here, I'm not sure if he's going to go for the point or the pick, he's coming up, nice big spot, instantly. <laughs> he does take down Captain Hacks with the wonders of self-damage. Uh, the heavy in aggressive with Cadis. Cadis is going through the underneath right now, Plopla doesn't realize he's here, does he? Plopla tries to rush him, but some nice sticky damage there, Cadis is going to run straight to the point, the Uber's been popped for punchline. There are 15 seconds left. Cadis is juking this heavy somehow for so long. What is happening here? TCM Uber on the point. The heavy is on the point. Heavy gets taken down. It's just Cadis pushing through. Here's oh, going to get it. And Cadis clutches it. Amazing play from Cadis in the final seconds to win the game. And advance TCM to the next round of the playoff. I have no idea how the hell he survived for so long. There was a heavy shooting him at him. What the hell? Oh man, <sighs> Punchline, he's a scout to hold under and the point, I mean, it's probably not wise, but anyway, yeah, we saw that clutch play from Cadis there. Did I even need to ask you who your man of the map was there, DJC? No, just no chance that it's anyone but Cadis, <laughs> that was huge. The heavy hit him for like 10 damage, Cadis kept juking around that little T-pillar in the water side. And then TCM came in with their Ubers, everyone was trying desperately to kill Cadis, and then Cadis had about 4 pipes onto every single punchline player that was insane probably the best end to a match i have ever seen yeah kid is coming through strong in the end there i won't even make a comment there obviously big jason man of the map maybe man of the series but we'll wrap things up here djc this has been a four to three victory in normal time for tcm games